Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time that you're joining me, my name is Natasha Benjamin and if you're into all things feminine level up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 5 etiquette rules every lady should know. So, let's get into the video. Number 1. Be punctual. Being punctual is a sign of respect. It shows that you value other people's time. While in some countries it's commonplace to be late, this type of attitude is not accepted in foreign countries. As a matter of fact, it shows that you are not a very organized or professional person, and such behaviors would see you losing contacts as well as job opportunities. Number two, mind your manners. Basic manners such as saying thank you, no thank you, excuse me, please, good morning, good evening, and good night are all about respecting yourself and others. Good manners are important in both social and business situations. It shows that you are well-mannered and would boost your self-confidence among people who are also well-mannered. It is considered rude and impolite to not practice basic manners. Here's a tip for you. When to say good evening or good night. Say good evening to say hello after 6 p.m. Good evening is commonly used at restaurants, in a professional context, and in speeches. In general, good evening is a little more formal. Say good night to say goodbye when you are leaving to go home. Family members also say good night when they are going to bed. Number 3. Lost Battle of the Handbags do not place your phones, handbags, or anything not food-related on the dining table. Placing anything besides food and things related to food on the table while dining is considered rude. Bags especially take the number one spot in this category. Consider how many different surface areas you've placed your bags on, such as the washroom countertop. Here's a tip for you. Bags should be placed on a bag hook or they should be placed on your seat behind your back. The phone also loses the battle. Avoid being on your phone at the dinner table. Whilst we are programmed to answer our devices every beckoning call, it is considered bad manners to do so at the dinner table. When dining, we should remain socially engaged with those in our company. If you are expecting an important phone call, you should relate this to your host ahead of time. This shows consideration and respect, self-awareness and awareness of others. Number 5. Remember your table manners. Napkin on your lap, no elbows on the table, and chew with your mouth closed. Like many long-standing etiquette traditions, the no elbow on the table rule has its roots in practical origins. One of the reasons for this rule was a way of preventing slouching. This great focus on rigid posture while seated was preached in European and American dining and was a sign of a refined upbringing, explains Thomas P. Foley, etiquette expert and founder of Mr. Manners. So here's a tip for you. When is it okay to put your elbow on the table? When you converse with your table neighbor before or after the meal, it is okay and acceptable to put your elbow on the table. However, when plates, and particularly plates filled with food, are present, it is unacceptable to do so. Well, that's it for this week, ladies. We've come to the end of the video. Do hope that you found it informative and interesting, and I do hope that you can take away something from it. My name is Natasha Benjamin once again. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It's your girl Tash saying ciao for now.